Today we're going to talk about more facts about women that every man should know. And trust me, the more facts you know, the easier it is to handle them. Stay tuned. Nothing like knowing them killers lurking. We've been cautious. Y'all nearly lost them. We've been in them trenches playing off and stash box every show. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade? The link is in the description. All right. A couple weeks ago, I made a video explaining to you facts about women. Well, today we're going to be going over a whole nother list of facts about women that I think every man should know. You have to understand when it comes to a woman, majority of you guys get played because of lack of knowledge. That's what coming online's for. We're here to get you back in track so you can learn the knowledge of women so you're not out here just running around blind getting messed up all over again. So today we're going to go over some facts that you may know or you may not know, but it will get you closer to understanding women. First, one thing that every man in the world needs to understand this. I don't care how much muscle you get. I don't care how tough you are. A woman can take way more pain than a man. I'm going to say it again. A woman can handle way more pain than a man, not only physically, but psychologically. Example, a woman can give birth, carry a baby in her stomach for nine months and still push it out of a little hole as if it's nothing. That's what you have to understand. Why you think some women continue to go to the pain, go through the pain of having kids and giving birth, having kids and giving birth. It hurts them to do it. It hurts them to carry it, but they become immune to that type of pain and their body grows to handle it. Next, when you talk to a woman about bad relationships, typically a woman don't wake up to after six bad relationships. That's why when you talk to women about bad relationships, they're always telling you about all the bad guys that they've been with all the guys that did them wrong why because they can handle the pain from a man why you think the same thing that makes them cry is the same thing that makes them stay it's because they pretty much love the pain they love to be worried they love to be depressed they love those type of things pain becomes a woman's best friend if you go and you ask a man who broke his heart chances are he's only going to name one woman because it only takes a man to get hurt one time to change his entire life. But women are get hurt a thousand times before they wake up because they can actually handle the pain. Next, if a girl accepts a, a expensive gift, get rid of her. All right, I'm going to say it again. If a girl accepts a expensive gift, get rid of her. A girl that's for you realizes that it doesn't take that much money to make her happy. All right. So if a woman really, really likes you, she doesn't want you to spend that much money trying to prove yourself to her. Now, a woman that feels like she really don't like you, but she really don't be alone. She's going to take the expensive gifts as like bargains. She's going to bargain with you. She's like, all right, cool. He bought me this. I'll, he bought me this. I'm going to act good for a couple weeks. He did this for me. I'm going to act good for that. So remember, if a woman likes you, she does not want you to be out here spending money on senseless things because she's seeing herself being with you in the future. So if she's going to be with you in the future, she already starts analyzing how money is spent, how you spend money. So she don't want you spending senseless money. That's just a good trick for you guys to understand. If you got to buy her an expensive ring, you got to buy her a purse, you got to buy her clothes, she do not love you. You're going to be paying for the relationship. The moment she tells you, I don't want to go shopping at the expensive stores, it's the moment you need to be with her. Next, women prefer direct eye contact. They prefer direct eye contact. The more direct eye contact you give her with stern words, the more she's going to follow you because it shows dominancy. You would notice if you ever felt a woman that likes you where you can like feel their spirit when you walk into a room, she tries hard to make eye contact with you. That's the main thing. Every girl 
that's looking to get your attention, no matter what you do, she's going to try to make eye contact with you. She may bend over so you can see her butt, but guarantee when she come back up and look, she's going to be trying to make eye contact with you. Why? Because if she don't make eye contact with you, then she can't read your soul, she can't read your spirit, and she doesn't have control over you. The eyes see through the soul. A woman knows that, which is why eyelashes are popular. Next, girls who talk the most will always have problems in their relationship. I'm going to say it again. Girls who talk the most will always have problems in relationship. Women who talk less are more romantic and more want to be in a relationship and is more submissive. All right. That's what you got to pay attention to in a woman. If you're with a woman and you guys are out and she's just boring or maybe she doesn't keep the conversation going and she allows you to leave. OK, a lot of guys get bored with those type of women, but those are the type of women that you want to be with. You want to be with the girl that has nothing to prove. But when she talks, she says very important things. You have too many women out here that don't say anything important. All they keep doing is just keep running their mouth, keep running their mouth, trying to convince you of their beliefs. The less you show that you're actually going along with her, the more she continues to talk. If you have a girl that likes to talk, always in a man's face, always in a woman's face, always want to debate with people, always got to be right, she'll barely keep a man. And if she do keep a man, that dude's going to drive himself crazy trying to get her to adjust. Next, girls do not like flowers. Young women do not like flowers. Let's go ahead and put that out there now because a lot of you guys thinking that you be doing something because you don't have some flowers sent to your woman. No, if you send a woman flowers between the ages of, let's say, teenage to 40, you are considered a beta off rap. The only time you should be sending a woman flowers between those ages is if you done got caught cheating, you done got caught doing some bad stuff, then you do that. But for the most part, the only people that need flowers is your mom and grandma. That's it. That's why they give flowers away at church to people at church, to the older women at church. It's because older women appreciate it more. They take them home and put it in a vase. You may find a young woman with an with a, um, a old soul that may like flowers. But for the most part, women do not want flowers. Flowers are like connecting gifts. It's like you give it a flowers. The flowers say there is something else coming. That's why you never give a young chick flowers. Flowers are like an invitation to the next gift. So when you give a woman flowers, she's going to be expecting something bigger than the flowers behind it. The best thing for you to do, if you're going to give her something, just give it to her. But in my opinion, you should just give her money. When it comes to the flowers, avoid flowers because flowers is a true sign that you're a beta. And believe it or not, women don't want them. Mom want them. Grandma want them. Younger women don't want them. They'll rather just cut to the chase and get to the gift. All right. Hopefully you guys are able to understand the message behind this video when it comes to women. And what I want you to do is I actually want you to show this video and share this video with a woman and have a woman commutate if I was right or if I was wrong. But I guarantee you these are psychological tricks that if you learn them, life will be a lot easier. This is Anthony Spade. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. And remember, if she ain't holding you down, she's slowing you down. Hasta la vista.